So now let's talk about customizing your Easy Author website and making it beautiful. When you get your Easy Author website, your dashboard again is going to look something like this. Now there are a few ways to actually get to your website. You can either click at the top next to the house, it will have the name of your website. So I could click on that and it would open my website like this. Or you can go down to pages. When you hover over, you'll get the all pages option. And this will show all of the pages in your website. From here, you can go to edit or you can go to view. So let's pick a page. Let's pick the home page. So I'm going to show you the different ways that this looks. If I click edit, I'm given this page right here. This is a back end builder and this might look a little confusing <laughs> to you at first. And it might not even look this way. You might, where this says use default editor and use visual builder, I'm kind of, if you see that blog 11, <laughs> um, there might be a button there that just is purple and it says use Divi builder. So if all you see is a button that says use Divi builder, then click that to get to this page. At this point, this is the structure of your website. And you might be going, oh, there's no way I'm ever going to be able to edit that. And that's okay because this is pretty confusing. Let's click on the blue button with the eyeball that says use visual editor. And this will open my page up like this. And this is perfect. This is how we want to edit most of the time. The other option to get there is to simply go um, to that page and click view. And from view, it's going to look the same, but I want you to notice that if I move my mouse over this website, I don't get any indicators. It just looks like a regular website. Whereas the one that we loaded from the back When I hover over, you start to see things happen. I've got a gray mark here, a green mark here, a blue mark up here, this little purple hamburger wheel that I can pull out at the bottom. So a lot of things are going on on this site that aren't on the page that I pulled up the other way. But that's okay, because if you notice up here we have this purple D and it says enable visual builder. And if I just click on that, it tells Divi that we want to edit our page. And here we go. Now when I hover over, I can start to edit my page. Now here's where we need to have a little bit of understanding of the structure of your easy author website. What I'm hovering over right here where it's blue, this is called a section. So here is another section. So if you're thinking of boxes, these are boxes that are stacked on top of each other. Every important piece of the website has its own section. So think of these also like chapters. We're authors, so these are all chapters of our blog. Now this one is green. And that's because it's something called a global item. And what that means is if I make any changes to this box down here, it's going to change on every page on my entire website, which is super cool. So if I change my phone number, for example, I don't have to change it on every page on my website. I just have to change it on one and then the rest will change. Now, inside of each section, we have what's called a row. So a row runs within that section from left to right. 
And within that row, we may um, have columns. So columns run up and down. So for instance, here within this row, we have author poet, and then we have this little gray block here that's nothing, but just to show you, if I wanted to, I could add an image simply by clicking that gray box. Oh, come on, this is an alphabetical order. It should be easy. And see that image pops up. So let's say I want my logo right there. Kaboom. So see, now that probably makes more sense. We have one up and down column here and another column here. Now I don't want that logo on there, so I'm just gonna hover over it and I'm gonna click that delete button and it's going to go away. So if I want to edit something, it's simple. All I have to do is hover over and what I want is the element or the module editor. So I'm going to look for the gray box for my elements that are inside of my row. 